shit, folks, man. I got this shit. Geiger versus Shiny Money. All right, Forts fans, welcome back to yet again another 1v1 ranked. This one is for all the money. That's right, you guys. This is some of the toppest, tierest, those are not wordsist, but they are some of the absolute currently best forts players in the world let's introduce our guys right now on the left hand side we have geiger playing a pinch fist and on the right hand side you probably could have guessed it we have shiny money also playing pinch fist interesting interesting now we haven't done anything on pillars before and I think that this is going to be pretty interesting. This is a, a map that I have very little experience with, and I'm going to be very interested to see how these professional players play this map. You can see here Geiger on the left-hand side going with the workshop technology. No idea if he's... Well, it's obviously not going to be... Is he going to do some portal jank? Or mortars? Interesting. Interesting. I would think mortals. Mortals? Mortals! Yes! All right, so we got mortars. Mortars coming from shiny money. This is a map, in my honest opinion, that I think Firebird uh, incendiary mortars are a fantastic option. Now, you can see here that Geiger is going to try and capitalize on the fact that shiny money has sold off the metal in the front of his base. That's usually a good indicator that the opponent is playing pinch fist to gain that quick economic advantage. You can see here that shiny money is much further ahead in terms of the ability to deal damage here. His uh, incendiary mortars are going to finish up relatively quickly here. Now, I'm going to assume... Sniper shots here, just do a little bit of probing. I'm going to assume that Shiny Money knows that uh, incendiary mortars, unless you're Firebird, are relatively useless. And keeping them hidden while he waits for his upgrade center to finish is going to be the right play. Now, it's whether or not he's going to upgrade all three at the same time. Because, things that I have learned playing my own rank matches, that when you hear the upgrade sound three times in a row, bang, 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 you can almost assume that mortars are coming, even if they're hidden. Holy moly there. Look at that. Geiger, what a great shot with that buzzsaw. Coming here, taking out this stability from Shiny Money's base. Uh, getting a little bit more red, you can see on this side. A little bit surprised. Um, I have decided recently, after playing this map, I really enjoy shotguns because it really forces you to protect your turbines. Situations like this, you could also do miniguns. Miniguns are very much the same way to take out the energy production of the players. You know that, uh, specifically on this map, it's difficult to get your turbines on the backside of the base without spending a lot of additional resources to begin with, which will put you at a disadvantage. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> We're almost done with the medications, you guys. The awning should stop, although it is first thing in the morning for me. I just got my... Whoa. Shiny Money fires a dud. There we go. The other two coming here to do some damage. Geiger going to try and protect his version of mortars. You can see the difference here. Hitting the clock. Uh, Shiny Money's getting his uh, fully upgraded and firing basically at the three minute mark. Maybe not sooner. You can see Geiger's a little bit behind on that. Shiny Money putting out the sniper. Oh! Oh! Shiny Money gets a little preemptive on that initial, uh, initial door snipe there. Makes it happen. Now, I'm wondering... Oh man, excuse me. Ha <laughs> ha! I wonder if we're going to see the relocation of the mines from these players at some point. You can see this one overhanging quite a bit. That might be to save a node. You don't actually have to do that. Um, actually, you might have to if you're going to get the mine behind it. I tend to do a, a bracing and a node. And then placing the mine here in this corner. Then you can fit the next one right next to it. Interesting tactics come from here. Neither, uh, I shouldn't say neither one. Shiny Money not doing a whole lot of protection on the top of his core. Not too much of a concern. You don't really expect tier 2 technologies coming out from anyone on this map. And another yawn. Let me know in the comments down below, guys, how many of you guys have yawned when I've yawned. I'm not sure why Shiny Money's firing this dud. Might be to get the gunners to fire forward while the other two do some damage. Oh, and Geiger finally gets one of his mortars off to impact Shiny Money. They do a trade there. With one mortar in the air, the other fires. That was a really cool exchange here. 
can see Geiger just getting ready to figure things out here, protecting his turbines and dealing some damage over here on Shiny Money's base. Now, the biggest question I'm going to wonder at this specific moment is whether or not Shiny Money is going to expand his metal economy. He's going to he's got to be hurting right now running on two mines. Currently, he got that economic advantage at the beginning being pinch fist selling off the metal, but I don't know if running on two mines is going to be enough right now and whether or not he's going to have the availability to place a third. <gasps> Holy moly. I should have a yawn counter. They call me Yanni. Oh, that was cheesy. All right, moving on. Shiny money trying to come up with a, with a plan here. Uh, seeming to have lost most of his mortars. He's selling off. He's going for a, a complete game changer here. Um, interesting that he sold off his technology. He's now rebuilding his technology. It is a gamble. I want to make sure for those of you guys that are newer players here, not the top tier dudes that know what they're doing. But in most matches, I have found... Oh, he sells it again anyway. I have found, statistically speaking... It is better to not sell your starting technology. It gives you the flexibility to make a transition later on in the match if you need to. Now, other players would say, they would say, you know, hypothetically speaking, well, you can just place the technology down again. There are matches where you do not get 400 metal because you're dealing with minigun trolls that are ruining your life. So, great shots from Geiger, by the way. So I want, to I want you guys to keep that in mind, that it is... Uh, totally okay to keep your te tier 1 technology. You can see him, he's building it again. So he must have sold it off to get some resources to place it down again to try and do something here. Uh, a great perk of, uh, Pinch Fist to get that full metal rec uh, rec reclamation. English words, hard, difficult, sometimes. Uh, gets that metal reclamation from selling his technology, gets to place down a mine, and then gets to replace the technology. Interesting, guys. Keep in mind that Overdrive can do the similar things with the uh, upgrades you can downgrade to reclaim the resources to place some buildings down or some place some technology down or place some weapons down and then you can re-upgrade after when you can afford it now if you guys haven't figured out or haven't watched the devices tutorial video yet link is down below in the description you guys can check that out and understand the actual math and the science to when upgrades are viable and how many seconds it takes uh for the, for those upgrades to become net positive uh, I don't want to go into too much of that, but check out the video if you guys are unfamiliar with the math of when upgrades are good versus placing new stuff. Check out that video. Now you can see here, Shiny Money not doing a whole lot here. He's kind of in limbo. Uh, I like this play. I think this is sneaky because you don't expect it on this map. I am... Oh, another yawn. I am very surprised. Uh, that you're not seeing shotguns. Both went workshops. Now, I I totally think that Firebird Incendiary Mortars is viable here, specifically um, because of the lack of starting metal uh, generation. The mines, it makes it very difficult to continuously put out those fires and build gunners and have metal and do stuff while you're continuously raining down on that parade. It's very easy for snipers to maintain map control on this type of layout. And it really allows for those incendiary mortars to shine. Just creating havoc. So I'm very interested to see. I like Geiger going here for some tier 2 technology. Not very often do we see those uh, in high tier matches. Although we do have another replay for you guys. I was uh, watching a little bit of it. Uh, I've got another fantastic one for you guys coming up after this one. It's going to blow your minds. <coughs> Seen here, Shiny Money just hanging on for dear life, trying to uh, wait for his swarm technology to get done. I'm really interested to see how this plays out. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. <laughs> Very much interested to see how that goes. He's got some blinkiness. New blinky. I gotta have that in a tutorial video somewhere that you're a noob if things are blinking. <laughs> Uh, yeah, very stagnant. Now, it's situations like this, I'm sure Shiny Money is in absolute panic mode, knowing that the only thing being fired at him currently are miniguns. Ha, <laughs> another gun! Ha <laughs> ha! Miniguns and AP snipers. He's got to be thinking that something bigger is coming, because I know if it was me, even though I'm not nearly as good as these guys are, I think the same thing. Oh, Shiny Money losing his, uh, whatever that was down there. Connection to his mines. I think there were some gunners down there. 
Uh, we're getting the new coming out here. Now, that is going to be very, very viable, although Shiny Money is going to need a sniper to take out the gunners down here on Geiger's base to handle that situation. Now, keep in mind that these guys are running on two turbines. One, well, yeah, two turbines each currently at this point in the game and not uh, expanding their economy. Now, I am sure that Geiger has done this weird janky mine situation uh, on purpose specifically. Uh, I typically tend to do a bracing here and here and get this mine tucked in allows this mine to be further in as well And allows more wooden bracing to protect your economy. I Really like shotguns on this map. I'm a big fan now. That could be a noob strategy. These guys might have something better in plan I like the miniguns as well um, I think I should probably start using miniguns in my strategies if I'm going workshop using miniguns to substitute as shotguns in that specific situation to save you on investing on that armory technology. I think this is a great route to go. You get the same disbursement. They have uh, a multiplier against sandbags, which means they work really good in that regard to players that are just protecting the turbines with sandbags. You can cut right through them. Oh, and Geiger mistimes it. And oh, RNG! Oh my! <laughs> One thing we do not expect on this map are nukes. Wow, guys, that was Geiger versus Shiny Money, Pinch Fist versus Pinch Fist. Can't be touched.